Hey, Taurus, you are not forgotten either with the Instagram trip out. So we are just going to have a little sagey sage. Clear the space, clear the decks. And we are going to do a reading for you. So let's start with some nice deep breaths in and out. You can set the intention, run the sage through the courts, set the intention um, that your angels bring you any information or any guidance that you need to know or you need to hear. Okay. Okay. Now, what I've been doing for your sign and the other signs, we're going to start with the Quantum Oracle. Sandra Ann Taylor, and I'm going to read the message straight out of the book, um, just because San Sandra, I like her, I like her messages, and um, I think it's just information you guys can use. I'm also going to go ahead and put this out, because I don't need no drama no drama okay now no drama no drama as I'm throwing these cards okay spirit show us what you need Taurus to know spirit what does Taurus need to know show us what Taurus needs to know spirit show us what Taurus needs to know mm, okay Taurus let's keep going Spirit, show us what Taurus needs to know. Show us what Taurus needs to know. Show us what Taurus needs to know. Let me get a sip of water. Bear with me and my shenanigans. Show me what Taurus needs to know. Show us Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus. Okay. All right, look at this. I already, I already could tell. I already could tell. But like I said, I'm gonna read it out from the book. I already could tell. So behind a mask came out first, then peace, surrender to success, and let go of any belief in scarcity. So we are gonna start with this behind the mask. So look at the top of the card. Do you see how it says intentions at the top? Intention intention what are your intentions Taurus like what's really the goal let's see let's go to behind the mask okay here we go I'm gonna read it straight from the book behind the mask choosing self-acceptance it says a woman appears an elegant mask that covers the top half of her face it hides her identity beautifully. Even her friends won't be able to recognize her. This card reveals an important conflict in your intentions. You have times when your view of yourself is so depleted, you believe you must hide who you are and pretend you're someone you're not. This gets you into a whole lot of mental messes. You compare yourself to others, always competing and often losing in your own mind. Your perfectionism can create performance anxiety and cause you to worry about what others think. Worst of all, this ongoing current self-judgment becomes a raging energetic river that pushes your goals away. It's absolutely impossible to attract your real desires if you never allow yourself to be the real you. This card is telling you that you can and must shed this false condemnation of yourself no matter how deep this pattern is. Your value comes from your eternal truth, not from others' input. So choose to relax and let the mask go. Open up to spirit's light within and around you and be yourself. When you accept yourself as you are, no matter what anyone else may think, you will feel completely liberated, perhaps for the first time in your life. Affirmation for this card is, I choose to accept myself as I am. I deserve my own high regard. Definitely. And 
Taurus, if you are trying to get to this place of success, which Spirit says you are, and if you're trying to get to peace, which Spirit says you are, you got to be able to let that go. Got to be able to let the mask go so that people know what they're attaching into, especially nowadays. In a world where so many things are fake, authenticity is running high, honey. Let's go to peace and see what peace says. So the peace card. It says, inner balance, outer harmony. I swear to God, right? Okay, let's keep going. Inner balance, outer harmony. A woman gently swings in a tranquil sunlit sky while swans swim on a lake in the clouds. This card shows that there's this peaceful energy settling in your mind and manifesting in your life at this time. Gaining inner balance is a starting point to the peace and harmony you're trying to achieve in the world. If you haven't already mastered this intention for tranquility, know that you are capable of doing so now. There is an inner strength that comes from such activities such as meditation and deep breathing. If you add healthy nutrition, regular exercise, and plenty of water to that regimen, you will achieve personal balance that will then spread in every direction. The clarity that comes from peace of mind projects the vibrant light in the universe and brings a joyous harmony into all arenas of your life. Okay, so that's exactly what spirit is trying to do. Bring some joyous harmony into your life. Don't you want joyous harmony? Yeah, you want jo joyous harmony because this is why they got, this is why these two cards are here. Let go scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and success beyond your wildest dreams. So if spirit is over here like, nah, yo, you hustling and you grinding all hard because you feel like there ain't enough. There ain't enough money. There ain't enough time. There ain't enough this. There ain't enough that. When spirit is like, yo, you have everything that you need to be successful. You got that swag. It says, don't look back at previous roadblocks or previous times where shit went wrong or any difficulties. You got to leap into the exciting new world of possibilities. Like literally exciting new world, not exciting old world. You know what that old world is all about. You were here with it. We going into the new world. That's why they're asking you to take off the mask. Be your authentic self. Okay, show us what else is coming up with Taurus for career. Show us career for Taurus. Show us career. Show us career. Show us career. Show us success. Show us career. Show us success. And bam. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm happy about it. Taurus, you got to know you're protected. You got to know you're safe. You see this warrior who's walking with you? You got goons, Taurus. Taurus, you literally got goons that walk with you. You can't take the mask off. You got goons. You don't need a mask when you got goons. Also, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. So as long as you're letting go of that scarcity, scarcity, not enough, lack mentality, and tap it into your success, you legit are on the right path. Show us what else for Taurus for career, income, money. Show us career, income, money for Taurus. Career, income, money for Taurus. Spirit, show us career, income, money for Taurus. Matter of fact, let me get that abundance incense going. Career, money. Show us what for Taurus. Show me what you got, little baby. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay. Number one, spirit is like, don't let your emotions get in the way. Your emotions are affecting your finances. You're paying too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career. Earn money doing something that you love or a dream job may be offered to you. So again, they say you got what it takes to be successful. Just pay attention to what you're doing. You have a skill set. You have a craft. You have an inner artist. And that inner artist can show up in many different ways. It could show up in any kind of retail position. It could show up into sales. It could show up in personal services. It could show up as you being a boss. It says focus on finding the beauty in your day-to-day -day life. An artist can be a photographer, a painter, film, graphic artist, a web designer, or anything that you would do creatively with words, a coach, a speaker. 
If you can't make a living with your art full time, then start part time. Just get started. And then here they are saying, embrace the wisdom of the unknown. So even if you don't know how, get out of that. Why? Because spirit already said you're on the right path. Now let's go see what's going on with love because they did say your emotions are affecting your finances. But before we go over there, we're going to ask one more thing. One more thing with money for Taurus. Show us one more thing with money for Taurus. One more thing with money for Taurus. One more thing with money for Taurus. One more thing. Okay, two more things. First, you got to know that, yes, sometimes things fluctuate, just like a pendulum. I work with a pendulum right here. And let me show you with the pendulum. Like, if I say yes, it's going to be a yes. If I say no, so when I'm asking the pendulum to show me what's going on, it can fluctuate depending on the situation. This pendulum says fluctuating income, indecision, new strategy, seasonal work, job change, making choices. So if any of these things, like if you like, maybe I should get another job. Maybe I should start a business. Maybe I should do this. Maybe I should do it. Maybe you should make a choice and work with the choice so that you can go forward. Why? Because you got gold nugget income coming. Remember, Spirit said you're protected. So even if it's a small increase. Just take an honest assessment of where you want to be. It's time for a fresh start. Time for steady work. Time to build your career. But you building off gold nugget energy. And let me reiterate one more time. You're protected. Remember, you got warriors, spiritual warriors. Okay, let's see what's up with love. Since love is affecting your uh, finances. Spirit, show us Taurus in a relationship Show us message for our Taurus couples. What message do we have for Taurus couples? Now, again, this is general, so take what you need and leave the rest. It may This reading doesn't necessarily have to apply to you. It's a general reading. If you need um, more information or detailed or specific information, then just book a private session um, while I'm taking private sessions. Okay, so Taurus and love. Show us. Shum, shum, shum. Shum, 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 shum. You know what? This is very similar to, uh, what was the last one? Aries. Okay. Literally, you're already in a couple, right? So Spirit's like, give it a chance. You know, be open-minded. What can you do to make the relationship better? We're going to ask. Because clearly y'all are committed. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to mean that you had a wedding or you're having a wedding. Wedding definitely shows commitment. So you're, commi you're committed to each other. Express your love. Don't have your partner wondering. Don't make them, don't do that thing where they don't know how you feel about them. Flirt with them. Be attracted to them. Show them some energy. Bring yourself to them. Connect with them. All the reasons that you, you wanted to be with them in the first place. Show your partner a little attention. Vice versa. If you feel like you want that from your partner, still, same same advice. You want some attention? Give some attention. Be able to speak about what your needs are. Instead of sacrificing. Don't sacrifice if you don't feel like it's not enough love. You see this? Scarcity. There's enough love. If you ain't getting enough love, create more love. Be loving. Be more unconditional with love so that you could receive more unconditional love. Don't try to be a, a love hoarder or a love Scrooge. What can make this better, Spirit? What can make this better for Taurus? What can make this better for Taurus? Spirit, tell us what can make this better for Taurus. Ooh, patience. Different paths and reaching a goal. Okay, so be patient with this whole process. Like, just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that everything's going to be all perfect in a snap. Have some patience. This says you and your partner on different path are, are not on the same page. So in order for this to be to be better, it's like you're who you are, they're who you are, who they are. How can y'all come together in an effective way with your differences? Like honor your differences. Don't use it as a problem, and then you'll reach your goal. Everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future. So don't be scared. Don't be scared to show yourself. If you're afraid to show yourself, you may need some healing from whatever went wrong in a prior love. Okay, 
Show us Taurus singles. Show us what's coming up for Taurus singles. Taurus singles. What's coming up for Taurus singles? Taurus singles. Okay. Okay. Let's see. You're coming up, singles, you're coming up at a time of stability, some security, growth, and endurance. Okay, you're growing. Happiness and joy is on the way. Playfulness, enjoying each other, the honeymoon phase. So, okay, Taurus, somebody's coming in for you. Somebody that you're really going to be able to enjoy. Clarity and truth, revelations, honor and protection, determination. I think that you're going to definitely meet somebody that you can have a great time with. They're going to be connected to you. They're going to want to participate with you. In this particular situation, Spirit is saying, again, keep it light, keep it flirty, just like with the couples, keep it flirty. The attraction is there. See, attraction's there. So this could be an attractive time for you anyway as a sign. And you may be attracting even more opportunities and good things and stuff like that that are coming to you. Show us the outcome of this. Spirit, show us the outcome of Taurus. Show us the outcome of Taurus with this situation. Show us the outcome of Taurus. Ooh. Ooh. Pop on a baby. Oh, okay, so Taurus. Falling in love, definitely. Remember, this is the singles. Falling in love. This definitely is going to help you go from being childish to being in your higher self. Some relationships come into our lives to help us grow. So I think this next relationship is definitely going to help you grow. Ma mature. It's like a higher love. Like, what's that when you use the song? Bring me a higher love. Oh, yeah. Together. Okay, spirit. Practical advice for Taurus to leave them with. What are we leaving with Taurus? Taurus with practical advice, Taurus. Next steps. What you do when you stop watching this. When you stop watching this, this is what you do. Mm. Okay. Keep going. Move ahead one step at a time. Even if you can't see the whole path, new doors will open as you go. Enjoy your journey. I'm always here. I'm always where I need to be. Definitely keep going. Don't stop yourself. Because sometimes you could do that. You'll be on a good path and it's like self-sabotage. So no more of that. What else? Invest, honey. It says spend your money on things that will help you grow and succeed. Not just, they all in your shit. Not just, remember this? Bam, emotional spending. Spend your money on things that will help you grow and succeed. What do you really need? Plant those seeds. I invest in myself and in my future. Taurus, dream about what you want to have long term. Maybe you want to have land. Maybe you want to build something. Maybe you want to build your own community. Maybe you want to have your own town. But it's available for you. You just got to get out of your own way and keep going. Okay, Taurus. I will talk to you soon. If you need to book a private session, you can do it on the website, terrybeal.com. And I will talk to you guys soon.